Garmin Kirkland, who is the murder suspect in last month's shooting in downtown Dothan, was released on bond late Monday evening. And the victim's family, then the victim's family is pleading for justice. The hurt that we felt, I can't describe that. Her kids are still looking for her to pick them up. She would have never put them in harm's way. On October 18th on Walnut Street, police say a pregnant woman got into a fight with another woman over a man who had children with both women. Those two women were 33-year-old Precious Warren and 31-year-old Carmen Kirkland. The fight ensued and Precious Warren was pronounced dead at the hospital. Kirkland was facing two counts of capital murder and on Monday she was released from jail on a $150,000 bond. Kirkland's case will now be heard before the Houston County Grand Jury to determine if a trial is imminent. After hearing of Kirkland getting out of jail on bond, Precious Warren's family is continuing to seek justice for their daughter, sister, cousin, mother, and friend. It doesn't feel like justice, but I know justice will be served. The detriment of this, I can't describe it. I don't know where the strength comes, comes from, but I know we're a praying family. The shooting that led to the death of Precious Warren was also in front of Warren's three very young children. Only one of the children, a two-year-old, recalls what happened and remembers her mother being shot. The one that witnessed it, she's she's angry. She's two years old and, and she, she's two years old and she's angry. And she knows the lady's name. She saw her shoot her mom. Warren's family feels that Kirkland being out on bond is creating a precedent for similar cases. You're setting the tone for more crime to be committed. You're saying that it's okay to murder someone. I don't know what justice is, but I know it needs to be done. We reached out to the lawyer of the vic of the suspect, and we received no word. Stick with WDHN as we will keep you up to date as this case progresses through the courts. Mike and